Greetings everyone, it is I, Razor012YD, and today we got a lot to cover because things are about to get interesting on Boulder. Oh no, I'm a stinky VC, I walked into the Viking King spot. Ah! Okay, I shouldn't be walking on Viking King then. Okay, let's get into the video, shall we? Okay, let's begin. Okay, uh, guys, the first thing we're going to address here is the Brick Gods. Now, if we look over here, we're gonna address Evil Brick God first. So, basically what he does is, is he does his little animation, his blinking animation. And yes, he has his fire effects here. And he does his animation. Yeah, you, you just seen it. You just seen it right with your own eyes. Hmm. So, I believe that... This EBG is superior to the old Evil Brick God, which he could do, like, all, all this other stuff. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing! I wish that these Brick Gods have a text bubble above them so you could beg for gold, beg for whatnot, and even hear their dialogue if you assault them with your sword. Maybe have Evil Brick Gods say, HOW dare YOU! YOU'RE A STINKY ATTACKER! Well, besides the... Besides all that, that's what Evil Brick God says, except for the stinky attacker part. So, let's go to Brick God now. So, Brick God over here, he's doing his animation with his blinking eyes and particle effects right here. Wiggles has improved Brick God a lot. Oh, look, he does, he does his little dance. Now, what, what could really be in there is that uh, Wiggles would replace all the signs relating to Brick God and basically this will come in. Like, imagine a text bubble of, above Brick God so you could beg for coins, talk to him. Yeah, I said the same thing again for Evil Brick God, but hopefully that gets into the game. Yeah. Second thing I want to address, the swords. Now, the swords, there's a, there's a... There's a light blue sword, I don't know what name it is, and there's a dark heart. Now, I predict the dark heart will one-shot everyone that comes into contact with this sword, meaning it's a very powerful tool to use. Now, this sword right here, it does something funny. Watch. Whenever you swing the sword, you go flying, you bounce. But this could be a precursor into why bombs are getting replaced. Now, uh, when I'm holding the bomb, there's a new model. Great job, Wiggles. Keep keep up the good work. So, I believe that because Wiggles is adding airships into the game, <clears throat> bomb jumping will get neutered or removed. Yeah, yeah, see the jump? This should be only for jumping over walls and doing other stuff. Not for... Flinging yourself into the sky only to go BOO on all your enemies. Yes. That's the thing here. Yeah. Okay, we've addressed the funny swords. So now let's move on to the... The best part of this border news. They... Wiggles has added windmills into the game. Now... This could be a how-to guide on how to make bread. Well, this could be a future video making raise a mother. I mean, uh, I'm gonna teach you how to play the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So this sign says you sort of harvest wheat. So Wiggles. So earlier, I was gonna release a border news about this, about about speculation over a sickle, but. Now you have to harvest wheat with your own sword, cause Wiggles said so. So unfortunately, no sickles will be added to border, unless Wiggles decides to. Yeah, this really is taking a while for wheat to get chopped. Now come on, come on. So once you chop a wheat stalk, you'll get. Ooh, that's a nice wheat model. Who modeled the wheat? That's impressive! You get four bushels of wheat. So, you could go in there, drop some wheat in there. And, okay. 
it, it will turn into flour eventually. Because, yes. And I believe Wiggles worked on this all day yesterday and now today. It's come out. Yes. Yeah. Let's wait for the wheat to turn into flour, though. So, after waiting a total of 30 seconds, you could press E to collect all your flour inside the mill. Now, what, what would make sense about this is that there should be a grinder right in the middle of the windmill, grinding your wheat in the flour, because that makes a lot of sense. Now, then you wet the flour with this automatically placed bag, and then you get dough. And then you cook the dough, and it turns into bread. Oh, okay. God dang it, I burned my bread, really? Let me try again. Yes, I got a tasty snack. Bread! Now I can eat the bread and, <laughs> you know, get full and whatnot. Cause, yeah, I think that's good. Now besides all that, you got these four choosing guys. One of them's thin, one of them's big belly, one of them's thick, and the other is super thick. Now, Legos has added a belly system. You eat too much food, you explode. Yes. Now going on, there's these blocks. There's, I think Wiggles use these blocks to make the spawn. And there's this text block button. And then there is the team C's, pounds and move. Then there's the new sign thing here. Yeah. But to be honest, I think this new text font looks out of place cause I like using, I like using borders font. Press start to play. Cause, yeah, that's what Wiggles used all throughout Bowler's lifespan. Yeah. Okay, let's address this area I just walked into. This tycoon area! Yeah! Technically, Wiggles has now... Well, basically, he has now uh, turned Border into... Border Tycoon! What do I mean? There's a lot of buttons. You could buy a cottage for 100 coins. You step on the button. Buy a fire pit, it'll cost you 100 coins. A well, 100 coins. A mill, 100 coins. All those wheat farms you might have mentioned, 100 coins each. But that is subject to change, but hopefully, Wiggles adds more of these in a more enlarged map because we desperately need peasants to work the farms. So that they could buy and get enough money, get a passport, and then become a citizen! Yes! To be honest, these could be the new houses. Well, Wiggles improved on the old border hut model and made a more greater one. Now, we, now I predict that we will have the border apartments in the cities and we will have the huts outside of the cities. Oh, and the cottages right here. Hmm. These could be for when you upgrade your hut into this thing. I'm not too sure, that's just speculation though. Hopefully that happens, cause if Wiggles can make Tycoon buttons, then he can make upgrade buttons to upgrade huts in a these, uh, the, the big huts right there. He could do that too, yeah. Okay guys, I got through enough. And yeah, border news for this week has been already covered, so Let's get to the ending. If you have liked this video, please give it a like, comment, and a subscribe for more Razor content. And if you want to see this tycoon game thing in the game, please go and join my Discord server. Otherwise, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. All the wheat will be burned when you harvest it. Yeah, join my Discord, join my Roblox group, and all that. Yeah. Anyways, folks, I'll see you then. So, good day, good night, and I'll see you then. Bye.